After more than three years, federal student loan payments are starting up again, and for some, this means big monthly bills on a top of already tight budgets. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Amelia? Nick and Candace, good evening. After a pause due to COVID, borrowers will now have to dig a little deeper into their pockets and begin making payments as soon as today. It'd be like $295 to $300 a month. Chanel Massidy recently graduated from college in Massachusetts. Now, she and millions of people across the country are starting payments on their student loans after a pause due to the pandemic. This is like my first time dealing with student loans since I don't have any older siblings or anything, so I'm kind of just like figuring it out as I go. Massidy and many others say it's been stressful starting to manage the payment along with other bills and expenses. I've been mostly focusing on just getting into the workforce, trying to build up an income, keep my credit card debt down, and that's not been easy. Knowing that within a couple weeks, I'm going to have to throw another monthly payment on top of what I'm already doing. I mean, I really don't feel like I'm 100% ready to take that on. Experts say there's options on how you choose to pay back your loans. Experts say there's a 12-month grace period stating that if you miss a payment, it won't impact your credit score. However, they recommend you try to budget and make paying back your loans a priority because this could impact you in the long run. It can impact your credit score if you miss payments, which will impact your ability to borrow for a car, a house, rent, you name it. Amesbury says if the bill is too big for your budget, there's several income-driven repayment plans you can choose from which could lower your monthly payments. The good news is, is that you don't have to make that decision immediately. And if you do make that decision, it's not locked in for good. Um, you can call your loan servicer and have that changed as your circumstances change. Amesbury says when it comes to choosing a plan, it's important to remember what's best for your financial situation. Just because your you know, sibling, coworker, whomever you speak to is doing something that may be right for them, it doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you. Talk to a financial advisor, talk to whomever you trust uh, to, to walk you through what's best for your, your situation. For more information on those student loan repayment options, head over to pahomepage.com. In the newsroom, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. Thank you, Amelia.